Hey guys, uh, I've been asked by a lot of people how I um, how I'm getting the quality that high save quality that I've been posting um, the past couple of days and what I'm doing to get those render settings and whatnot. So just want to give you guys a few tips about what I do and if it applies and if it helps you, that's great. So uh, let's start from the beginning. If you're recording with uh, ArcSoft Capture Module software from the Hophodge, you're going to want to go to uh, Format Settings. Uh, make sure your bitrate is up to 13.5. You don't need to mess with anything else in this entire page. Click OK. Um, normally I would be recording with a fiber optic cable, but I cut it in my recliner. That was kind of unfortunate. Um, if you're recording with fiber optic, switch this to 5.1. If not, if you're using RCA, have it at 2 point or just 2 channel. Um, I know some people say PlayStation 3 is a little bit better of a, a save file. It, the files themselves are a little more compressed, a little smaller. Um, I don't. It was just set from Xbox 360 for me, so I left it at that, and I've always liked what I've been given, uh, and that does save at MP4. So let's go ahead and take a look at Vegas. When I open up Vegas, uh, if I bring in a clip, let's just bring this down in the timeline. Um, my files are always going to be uh, AVI files because I do this from After Effects. Um, I just leave it in After Effects at the best possible setting, uh, highest render settings, and when you bring it in here, AVI files work great in Sony Vegas. Um, so let's see what I have my composition settings at, or my project properties, I should say. Um, they're set at custom, but basically what it is, I just have uh, 1280, 720, normal resolution to get from recording. Um, frame rate, have it at 59.94. That's what you're saving from the Hophodge, as well as what you would be saving from um, After Effects if you're using that. You want uh, resolution to be set at best. Um, if this is the first time you're doing this, check start all new projects with these settings so you don't have to ever do it again. Uh, quickly with audio, depending on what your um, what your audio input is, this is, might needs to be changed. If you are using uh, our typical RCA that you get from the Xbox, just leave it at stereo. If you are using a fiber optic cable, you know the uh, the red light thing. If you're using that, you want to switch this to 5.1 surround. Um, try and have the highest sample rate you can. Have the highest bit depth, which 24 is not very high, but that's just what you're given. Um, that's it. The low pass filter you don't need to mess with. Everything in here should be okay. Just click okay. Uh, a tip, I think a lot of people know this by now, but always when you bring in a clip, go to Properties, Disable Resample, Maintain Aspect Ratio needs to be turned off. Okay, click OK, and that gets rid of the interlacing, and it, it's kind of goofy, but if you leave it on, you'd see the difference. It makes things look kind of smeared and just not, not as sharp as they could be. Okay, so now that you have your clip in, uh, color correction, this one was done through um, After Effects. You can double click on it, it will loop the region you're going to render. Go to the blue box here, click render as. Now this is where things get really important. As far as the save as type, this is the, the key to the entire thing. This is how the quality I've gotten is what it is. Go to the bottom, it's called XDCAM EX. It says .mp4, but chances are your computer will not be able to play it. Uh, don't worry, I'll explain that in a minute. Under template. Your render settings should be 1280, 720 at 60 frames. I know it says 60, but it's 59.947 or whatever the real number is. 35 megs a second. Um, the files are not massive, but they're pretty large. Um, and those are the the render settings. Again, it's uh, XDCAM uh, EX, and you're going to want 1280, 720 at 60 frames at 35 megs a second. You would normally click save and start a render, but I don't need to do that. Um, the reason, what was I saying? Oh, the reason um, you might not be able to play these files, uh, the XD cam, is, well, I don't know why, but uh, you're going to need to use VLC player. It looks like uh, it's this little cone player. You might have seen it before. You're going to need that. Um, but if you do get a chance to play something, it is, the quality is incredible. Uh, my best advice is to take the path of using After Effects first. Uh, saving an AVI format. Then when you bring an AVI format into uh, Sony Vegas, it, the quality is just, that's it. I mean, that's literally the top quality I've been able to figure out. I've tried 
every combination under the sun. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you want more tutorials or anything about Real Smart Motion Blur or uh, just anything in general, uh, drop a comment, drop a like, let me know. And uh, thanks again for the incredible response. The past day has just been uh, just been nuts with all the comments and messages and positive feedback. So thanks again. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.